They say it goes down in the DMs, but sometimes if you're lucky and a certain celebrity is being extra careless that day, it goes down right where everyone can see it. Instagram Live. Happy Monday, everyone. It's Emil Ennis Jr. here with Clever News, and I hope your weekend was fun, laid back, and less dramatic than Miley Cyrus's weekend was. So she and her new bae went on Instagram Live for another fun, cute meeting of the minds. But Rise and shine. I'm <laughs> high. <laughs> But based on the headlines today, you could say everything did not go according to plan. This live stream started off innocently enough. That is until Miley started to open up about her new relationship with Cody Simpson. So look, to tell the truth, I read the headlines about this before I actually watched the video. And all the headlines read that Miley said you don't have to be gay. And I thought, well, is she wrong? No, I mean, you really don't have to be gay. Maybe people are just being a little too politically correct here. But then I watched the actual Instagram Live video, the video that Miley, of course, has decided to take down. And in context, the quote is actually a lot worse, so I'm gonna break it down for you. I, mean, I was just being like, I don't know, hardcore feminist vibes and just like, I don't know, not allowing anyone in, but now I am. I mean, being a feminist is a lot more than just not letting people in. And I didn't think I would have to tell this to Miley Cyrus, who has been credited with advancing the fourth wave feminism movement, which started around 2013 and is characterized by a focus on empowering women as well as body and sex positivity. I get what Miley was trying to say, but with the rest of her quote in the video, this just ain't it, sis. There are good men out there, guys, don't give up. You don't have to be gay. There are good people with d out there. You just gotta find them. You gotta find a d that's not a d you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't have to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I always thought I had to be gay because I just thought, like, all guys were evil, but it's not true. There are good people out there that just happen to have d in her short quote here, she's really furthering the false narrative that being gay is a choice. This seems like a reference to her brief stint with Caitlyn Carter after they both broke up from their longtime significant others, Brody Jenner and Liam Hemsworth. I mean, it sounds like she's basically saying, ladies, if you're feeling gay, don't give up because you'll find a man like I did. Which is really disappointing to come from Miley, who has been outspoken about her sexuality so many times in the past and from such a young age. Like it or not, she has been a role model to plenty of young women and men who look up to her for support, and a lot of her fan base happens to be gay. One person said, Miley, this is so not it. Women don't have to be gay because they can't find a good person with a d Don't use the queer community as a stopgap because you couldn't find a boyfriend. People aren't queer because they gave up on men. This is so insulting. And Thickly Cyrus said, bro, Miley saying you don't have to be gay, there are good men out there, my good sis about to be dragged. Miley baby, some people just are attracted to women and or men, not because men are d and vice versa. She acting up, don't mind her. So even the stands know that Miley should have just sat there and ate her food this time, but there's even more. Oh. There are good people out there that just happen to have Cody I've only ever met one, but. I've only ever met one. <laughs> I'm just live. Okay, we get it, you're in love, but it sounds like Miley is throwing some serious shade towards her ex Liam in this video. I mean, they still only recently broke up after 10 years on and off together, so you know those wounds are still fresh, but saying she's only met one nice guy really insinuates that she is trying to not so stealthily say that Liam was evil or a dick. Miley also recently revealed that she is four months sober, which brings us back to around the time that she and Liam publicly separated. So I'm just left wondering how that's all related, but now I wanna hear from you guys. Do you think Miley was out of line with these comments? Do you think she knew she would get so much heat for them? Let me know in the comment section below. And then make sure you subscribe to Clever News so you can stay up to date on any more Miley drama as well as what else is going on, and then click right over here for another brand new story. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here at Clever News, and I will see you next time.